Hey guys, Nick here for another week of the new vinyl roundup. That's right, we got tons of new releases coming out this week. So many, it was hard to go over, lots of restock. We're gonna hit it all, starting right here with McCartney 3. This is the white LP version, white vinyl version we've got. They are hand numbered on the back there. Super excited to have these. Obviously, indie store only. Uh, I expect them to sell out probably today. Um, so if you haven't you're just seen this video, get on it. Get these going right now. Definitely want to grab one of those if you're, if you're a McCarthy fan. Like I said, we got a lot of restocks. Some of them we haven't had in a while. Harry Styles, self-titled. Every parent in the world's looking for Harry Styles. Harry Styles, a fine line right now. But I got more of those coming, but I got uh, that one in stock. Metallica, Master of Puppets. I mean, I don't really need to say anymore. Number one uh, greatest heavy metal album of all time, in their opinion, I suppose. $21. Toto, four. This is a, uh, it's got Africa on it, so you know it's good. 23 bucks. Again, a lot of restock this week. Avid Brothers. Got a bunch of Avid Brothers in this week. This is True Sadness. $28, 2 LP. Rick Rubin did it. Finally got another Hamilton in for that uh, for that musical lover in your family. Hamilton box, $81. The shrink's torn at the top, but it's still new. That Usually those sell out pretty fast. Happy to get those back. Smith, Slower Than Bombs. Excited to have this one back. $33, 2 LP. I can never keep Smith's records in stock. And speaking of things I can't keep in stock, Iron Maiden. Seventh Son, and I think I have uh, the self-titled in stock right now as well. So I got those two. I highlighted this last week, and I sold out of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Let It Stones Let It Be 50th Anniversary Box. For $125, it destroys the RSD release. Multiple LPs, 7-inch book, original photos, two SA CDs. For 125, that's been a great seller. They are, they say they're hand numbered, but I can't tell. It's, it must be either inside or behind the little promo sheet. All right, into some new releases. This one kind of snuck out on a lot of people. Arctic Monkeys Royal Albert Hall Live. So anybody who's a big Arctic Monkeys fan, if you don't have this in your collection, you're going to want it. Uh, two LP clear vinyl, thirty dollars. That's brand new. Alicia Keys has a new album out this week. She hasn't had one out in quite some time. Just self-titled Alicia, two LP. Uh, let's see what the price is here. Thirty-one dollars. It doesn't have a hype sticker or anything. It just says Alicia in a code. So I don't. It's, I assume it's black vinyl. Here's an Avid Brothers I've never had before. I think it's their a newer one. Closer than together. Uh, it's a trifold. It's fifty bucks. It's a little pricey. But you can tell it's got the you know it opens up both ways. Another Rick Rubin record. If you haven't checked out the Avit Brothers and you're into other Rick Rubin stuff, it's definitely worth checking their stuff out. Another great restock title, more set. I mean, she only sold like you know ten million copies of this album, so maybe twenty million copies. It was a lot. Twenty six dollars. Get you the classic. More restock, Madonna, Like a Virgin, Clear Vinyl, 1984 record, of course. Material Girls on there, 23 bucks, very affordable. Oh, we got a bunch of Mac Miller, guys. This is uh, Swimming we got in, we got Good AM in, we got uh, Blue Slide Park. In the new release this week, if I can find it in the stack here, they packaged, they have a new package. Swimming in circles. So it's swimming in circles combined into a box set for a hundred bucks. It's die cut here, 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 here on the back. It's got the track listing and a slick 4LP box configuration. Looks like it's got a little booklet in there. So if you haven't bought those albums or you're a huge Mac Miller fan, this one, I think these are limited. So you might want to slide on out and pick one of them up. R.E.M. Green. Again, another just classic title. Uh, 26 bucks. 
How about Sticky Fingers by the Stones? $31 back in stock. Oh, we got some Christmas titles that just snuck in just the right before Christmas here. Polar Express on ice vinyl, 21 bucks. Chicago's Christmas, $23 on that. <clears throat> Blackmore Night, 10 inch, here we come caroling, 18 bucks, got four songs on it. Then I got Jackie Wilson, Merry Christmas Jackie Wilson, obviously a repress from yesteryear. Um, it says out of print for nearly six decades. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen an original one of these. So I'm pretty excited to have this back. 26 bucks. Um, that's kind of some of the newer ones. <sighs> okay, Changerine Dream Sessions 2 and 3. Uh, legendary electronic pioneers return to their roots with a double LP of new live performance, colored vinyl. And same thing with this, colored vinyl. 26 and 26 each. Your Tange Dream fan. Good news. There's new stuff. Oh, we already did Alicia. We have not done Drive By Trucker's new one, though. The new OK. Uh, red vinyl. 25 bucks. Got them all there on the back. All right. Crosby Stills Nash. Again, just some restock stuff that we haven't had in a while. This one's on orange. No, 180 gram. It is not on colored vinyl. It is 180 gram. <coughs> All right, King Gizzard, KG2, their new studio release in this, their new eco-friendly packaging, 26 bucks, got that in stock. For you Stones lovers out there, Rolling Stones, I can't get no satisfaction, 55th anniversary, these are numbered right there on the back, doesn't say what they're numbered to, but they're numbered, all right. Jack Johnson, Rush Fire Fairy Tales, 20th anniversary. Um, it's the, it's, they call it an HQ version, RTI HQ 180 gram. So it's high quality vinyl. All right, guys, this is one of my favorites. Coheed and Cambria, double LP. Uh, I've got to sign one of these at home. I'm a huge Coheed and Cambria fan, so I'm happy to see they're finally reissuing their records because they're impossible to get at this point. Uh, 33 bucks. Pick up some Coheed. Vanessa Carlton. Be Not Nobody. $26. Red Vinyl, limited to 1300 on Red Vinyl. I want some Pineapple Thief. Ah! Pineapple Thief, volume four, the sword, the sword sessions, green vinyl. This is the fourth of four live solo sessions broadcast by Bruce Sword. There you have it. Dillinger Escape Plan for all you uh, metal lovers. 26 bucks. This is a new one. Limited to 300 copies worldwide <coughs> on transparent turquoise vinyl. Hip hop lovers rejoice. We got Childish Gambino because the internet. This title. Uh, came out for record store day a number of years back and it has been gone since been disappeared has can't get it happy to have it back in stock because i saw a lot of childish cambino happy to have those in the store Nas, king's disease or hip-hop stuff new album 27 bucks all right how about some john prine live the uh, classic live album Repressed for the first time, double LP, 27 bucks. This is probably one of my bigger releases this week with the McCartney 3, is the John Prine Live. So, got a bunch of them. Come on in for them. Dream Theater has a box set out. Well, it's sort of, sort of a box set. It's like the 4 LP, $67. It's got like two, two double LPs inside. 67 bucks. Got a couple of those. Um, three L, it's four LP, three CD. All right. Uh, Iggy and the Stooges, Metallic OK. Iggy Records, notoriously hard to get. $26 on that. The Offspring, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home. 
just came out on a seven inch, $11, got a few of them. So if you're into Christmas and you're into the offspring. All right, Def Leppard hits Vegas live at Planet Hollywood, $51, three LP set on transparent blue. 51 bucks for that. Tim McGraw's got our greatest, greatest hits. Well, it's 13 through 19. Uh, $26. Truck, yeah, Southern Girl. Diamond Rings. Yeah, this is cool. I love getting country stuff in because it's like a brand new genre. Well, not a new genre, but new genre to vinyl. It's good to see more genres expanding into the vinyl realm. Here's another big release this week. The Black Keys Brothers. You may think you already have it, but you don't have this one. This is the 10th anniversary edition. 2LP, $36. It's got three songs not on the original version. Liner notes written by David Frick. And it's only 36 bucks for a classic album. This has kind of been out of print. They knew this was coming, so they kind of put it out of print and put the new one out. Hendrix Live in Maui. We went over that last week. Between the Buried and Me. $31. I got... Uh, 2LP set from Craft Recordings, White Wall, Son of Nothing, yeah, more kind of for your metal fans out there. All right, so this week I will not be doing a MoFi Minute because there's not much news, but I do ha did get more Brothers in Arms MoFis, $51 for the, the 45 cut. I did not, however, get any Miles Davis kind of blue 45 box sets. They were I tried to get more, and they were sold out before I could even get my second order in. So anybody who maybe maybe gave me a phone call or were looking for one, I'm sorry, I will not be able to get you one this week. I have them on order. Whenever they show up, I'll be able to get you one then. So in the meantime, I did get more Brothers in Arms. I did get more B-52s Cosmic Things. I still have a bunch of other B-52s. I've got uh, Love Over Gold still. I think these are all sold out now. I have these still. Uh, 51 bucks for that. Um, so, sorry there's no MoFi Minute. There's just not a lot going on in the MoFi world. They're all catching up with uh, Christmas and all the shipping and all the new titles coming out. They're busy with that. So once that kind of calms down, we'll probably get a Steve Ray Vaughan Half Speed or a One Step Box. So, for, don't worry. There's other stuff for all you audio files. In the meantime, we've got Fleetwood Mac Rumors. 45 RPM. If you're looking for the absolute best sounding rumors version out there, this is the one to get. Um, it's been pressed a number of, number of times, but it's been out of stock, out of print for a while. So $46 gets you the classic album. Um, this is the one to get, guys. If you're an audiophile and you want rumors, buy this one. $46. Bucks. I'm surprised they haven't raised the price to $50 yet. <coughs> More audiophile favorites. Chief for the Tillerman, the 50th anniversary, 40 bucks. Again, really hard to get a used copy of that these days. All right, back to some more newer current stuff. Kid A, 2LP, 28 bucks. Uh, back in stock. Jack Johnson, In Between Dreams, always a, always a record store favorite, $26. This one's, if you're not in, if you're into some more mellow music and you're looking to branch out, please check out Jack Johnson, In Between Dreams. The whole album is amazing. This is this is the record to get into something new right here. More Black Keys, Magic Potion. Twenty dollars, very affordable. Alabama Shakes, sound and color. Two LP, clear, includes download. Twenty five dollars. Cure, greatest hits. Now this one I haven't had. I don't know. This might be a new one. Thirty three dollars. Just to the two LP Cure greatest hits. These are going to go right off the shelves. Cure records are just really hard to get. They sell right away. All right, Bright Eyes, I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning, another record store day favorite, or just a record store favorite. $23, just single LP there. Eric Clapton, 2 LP, no, 3 LP, $38. Live on Tour, 2001. It says 2002 live album, but it says 2001 here. I don't know. Somebody got it wrong somewhere. <laughs> there you have it. 38 bucks. Uh, Taylor Swift reputation. Of course, Taylor Swift this time of year always sells out. Kate Bush, 26 bucks. 
Problems of Love. Frank Zappa Apostrophe. Always another favorite of ours. Ready to buy keys. Gorilla's Plastic Beach. Twenty dollars for a record. It's it's when I'm getting twenty bucks for a record, it seems to be really cheap these days. So it's awesome to like see it and shine a light on it. Love getting them for twenty bucks. And the new Tone Poet, a culinary tiner, tender moments for all you Tone Poet lovers out there. So yes, uh, thanks so much for watching. We have a new morning show we're doing at 10.30 on Tuesdays. Me and Annette go over all the kind of news going on in the music world and releases and cool things going on uh, on Tuesday mornings. Check that out. It's a live feed. I still do the MoFi Minute. This week, there wasn't much to go on. This is the new vi music, new vinyl roundup, which I do every Saturday typically, but I will be, I'm getting a day off for the first time in about, I think I've worked uh, 20 some days straight. So excited to have a few days off. Uh, so I'm going to take advantage of that, uh, recording this out, putting this out a day early um, in in place of the MoFi Minute. So stay tuned. We got lots coming up. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to get over the Christmas hump and we can get calmed down a little bit. I think we're past the big rush. Um, again, if you want to see anything you like, all these will be up on our website, toadhallonline.com. Annette and I will pull them and Dan will pack them for you. Get them over to you guys. So thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys soon.